As humans, we release 51 billion tonnes of greenhouse emissions every single year. 80% of those greenhouse emissions is carbon dioxide. My name is Dr. Daniel Stewart and I am the CEO of Viridi CO2. Carbon dioxide is everywhere, but yet there's no solution in order to use it, particularly the chemical industry. At the moment, all of our chemicals are produced primarily from fossil fuels and natural gas. So Viridi CO2 enables chemical manufacturers to use carbon dioxide instead of fossil fuels. So it means we can develop these products and use carbon dioxide at the same time. Our catalyst takes carbon dioxide that would otherwise be released into the atmosphere and turns it into polymers, like this one. These polymers can be used in furniture, cars and clothing. People in the general public will be able to buy products which are made from waste carbon dioxide, so they're actively helping save the world by buying these kind of products. We're a team of five at the moment, but we're growing really rapidly and we're based here at the School of Chemistry at the University of Southampton. Right now, we're scaling our technology and working with early adopter customers who want to turn carbon dioxide into high value chemicals. We want to make sure that we are saving manufacturers money as well as enabling them to use CO2 as a feedstock to increase their sustainability. The Viridi CO2 technology was conceived during my PhD for three and a half years, we worked to build this platform that was able to transform carbon dioxide into something useful. Very early on in my PhD, we actually found something that worked really well. And for the rest of the time, we developed it to make it really commercially viable. During this process, we patented the technology and then we worked with the on-campus startup accelerator, Future Worlds, in order to develop our business proposition. Over the last 12 months, we've done a lot to build this commercial proposition and the customers that we'd like to work with. A lot of this work was done with UKRI's iCure program. And even during this journey, we actually won the Emerging Technology Competition run by the Royal Society of Chemistry. Our aim is to play a pivotal role in achieving global net zero emission targets. If we don't solve carbon dioxide emissions and greenhouse emissions, we're in a real danger of facing a climate catastrophe that will affect every single person on the earth. So we need to take action now and develop these technologies now.